Okay, in my last video, we completed setting up security on our wireless router. Now it's a simple matter of going from computer to computer and connecting each of those computers to the wireless router using the parameters that we created ourselves in the last video. And those parameters are pretty simple to remember. The SSID, or network name, is Wingding. And the password is this. So in this video, we're going to enter those parameters onto a Windows XP computer. Then in other videos, we'll be adding a Windows Vista and a Windows 7 computer. I'm also going to show you a neat little trick you can use to make this whole process much faster and much easier. Okay, so let's get started. As you can see by our little wireless icon down here, we have wireless networks available, but we aren't connected to any. So it's a simple matter of just finding the network that we're looking for, which in our case happens to be Wingding, clicking on it, and typing in the security key, which in this case happens to be G-O-O-D-G-O-O-G-L-E-Y-M O -O -G -E -Y. and as you can see this is one of the reasons why people hate wireless networking so much they're not quite sure they understand what they're doing they type in the wrong password and they think they're doing everything wrong well that's not usually the case a lot of times most people's problems come down to just typing in the wrong passphrase and it's not a hard thing to do so I'm gonna cheat And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just copy and paste that information. Now don't worry, this step really doesn't matter because later I'm going to show you how to set up the wireless network without having to type any passphrases at all. Paste, connect, and look at that. The network keys you type do not match. Well, guess which one was wrong? The one I copied and pasted or, or the one I typed in? Well, I'm probably going to say the one I typed in was wrong. So let's just go ahead and paste both of these in here. Click Connect. Acquiring network address. And what that means is it's picking up an IP address. And there we are, connected. So basically, that's the whole process. You get those parameters set up on your wireless router and then you put the exact same parameters on all your computers. Bing, bang, boom, you're done. Okay, so now I'm going to show you a way to make this even faster and easier. Instead of clicking on this, we're going to go over to here where it says set up a wireless network for a home or small office. Now remember, this is Windows XP. It's going to look a little different on Windows Vista and Windows 7. Click Next. You can disregard this because that was a trial for the same little drill that we're running here. Set up a new wireless network. Click Next. Okay, there's the network that we're trying to connect to. Now we don't want to say automatically assign a network key because that'll just produce some random numbers that don't match with what we already have. So we're going to say manually. Then we're going to make sure this is checked because Windows XP is not real up on the latest wireless security protocols. It, it, it tends to favor WEP and we want to go with, we want to make sure that we're going with at least WPA. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to, I don't know what was in there before, but we're going to go ahead and copy and paste our good old security key in there. Click Next and here's the option that I was talking to you about. What we can do is we can save these settings into a file on a flash drive. Take that flash drive, plug it into a computer, click on it, boom, we're connected to that network. It's that simple. So you type it in one time and you're done. Okay, so we want to make sure use a USB flash drive is selected. Click Next. Okay, now I happen to know that my flash drive is in the H drive on this computer. Click Next. You can see you just wrote that little file. Okay, now here's where you don't want to touch anything. It's tempting to click next, but if you do, you're going to delete the file you just put on the USB drive. So basically what you can do 
is you can just click cancel. Now what we can do is we can take our flash drive to other computers and if you check you'll see it's got this little file here called setup SNK and this little folder here. Those are the magic files and folders that the utility has created on our flash drive. We can take this and walk it around to our other computers and you'll see how easy it is to connect other computers to the wireless network. So that's it for this video. In the next video we'll be connecting a Windows Vista laptop to the wireless network.